We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Sun is down, freezing cold, that's how we already know When it's here, my dog will probably do it for Louis Bell That's just all he know, he don't know nothing else I tried to show him Yeah I tried to show him Yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Gone on you with the pick and roll. Younger flame here in sickle mode.
First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. All right, and that group was pretty epic. Uh, starting off with 4607 CIS. So they've had really good looking machines, I feel like, for, the, for a while now. They're always just like really clean looking. Bumpers always look really on point. I've been lucky enough to do a, a drawing for their team, and it was really easy to do because oh, the robots were always really clean looking. But I was really excited to see that they went low and like compact. Um, it just looks like a really solid robot that's going to come out doing really well. Um, Tyler, do you know where they're competing this year? Um, I'll look in a second, but don't forget the poll has just opened up uh, for uh this as well too so if you're in the, live in the twitch chat right now you can go ahead and vote right now it's pretty close this is the closest one we've seen yeah it is 4607 1736 and 6381 uh mm -hmm. so keep on voting it's open for uh three minutes so a couple more minutes on that they are competing uh at week one actually great northern regional wow. um, and then uh, i'll see them at the seven rivers regional i'll be at that regional on saturday to do some filming um as well too nice and what week is seven rivers six six so that's so they have a really good that's opportunity. To, yeah, mm -hmm. huge gap and no bag. So that's a team that you really want to keep an eye out for, especially at their second event, because they're going to they're not just going to kick it now that their robots done. They're going to definitely keep an eye on where teams are kind of evolving and, and how they can be a lot better by week six. That's crazy. That's a huge gap. But they'll definitely come out swinging pretty hard um, at week one. I'm excited to see them. Uh, 1736, kind of opposite. They're tall robot, right? Robot mm -hmm. casserole. So... I think, I mean, it's definitely getting close in the poll right now well, in it, chat. Is this here, the one we're seeing right now, is this 1736 or 4607? Nope, that's 4607. Okay, got it. I'm um, sorry. I thought we transitioned over. I'm like, man, that's not what I had in my notes. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so 1736 went tall. Um, they looked really solid, and it seems like a lot of people in chat seem pretty confident in their abilities to win best in show in this one. So, well, they're winning by uh, a two that's tied right now. So very, very, it's close. so, it's so tight. Yeah. yeah. And so Mike and Justin, you guys have seen a lot of other robots in the categories that you guys were looking at. What did you think about 1736 in terms of being a tall robot? Cause we've seen a few in the last few groups. Well, Justin, you kind of mentioned it last time. I think that tall robot kind of gives you some options. Um, I mean, we kind of did that on 340 back in 2012. I mean, mm -hmm. for the fact is that we, we got close to the basketball hoops to score that way. So if you have the option to go close or far away, I think it just opens up. You can kind of maybe take that sure shot when you get a little closer if the if the space allows or you can back up and kind of yeah. and do it from the trench. But uh, I think and I think that's really interesting. I know obviously you can't, um, you know, get through the trench. You have to go around. But 
um, kind of opens up some other opportunities for you. Yeah, it mm-hmm. makes your climb so much easier and your your mm-hmm. wheel of fortune so much easier. Like you don't have to have any. <laughs> you have to have almost no extent. It just everything yeah. becomes easier yeah. if you're willing to just go go through the middle. So mm-hmm. great choice yeah. for, just for them, I think. Yeah, I'm glad that they went all. I mean, I'm. I don't know. After seeing Week Zero in New Hampshire, a lot of teams were were low. So I think that tall robots are going to have a really good advantage, especially early on. Absolutely. Um, I I do like that they had like their robot named Steph Curry and went for the Wheel of Fortune. That was exciting to to see finally in a video. Um, you know what and the, their climb just was like. Oh yeah, I'm just sure like, robots are going to be. It's <laughs> very few will make it look that easy. Mm-hmm. But it'll be interesting to see how they kind of evolve as the season goes on, based on like you know, the needs of Alliance partners. Um, so we're definitely going to be seeing more robots on the bar later on. Something um, I want to ask uh, is that, uh, you know, we, we mentioned we saw 1736 actually use the control panel and we haven't really seen, I don't know if this is the first one we saw the control panel so far, but I is, that, is so. that just something that teams aren't really going for? Or is that just like, hey, we'll worry about it later because the odds of, of us getting there in the first place might be mm-hmm. low. I think that the difficulty is really replicating it at your Mm. field like i think if you have one of those great community fields where you have so many people invested in making sure it's like as real as possible then Mm -hmm. it's it's worth putting the time into it but if it's just kind of you and your shop it's easy to build like the goals to shoot in but for something like that where it has to react a certain way yeah like i just think back to 2016 we slaved over making all of those different um like obstacles and stuff and so many of them did not react at all the way that they did at the event so i think it's one of those things where it's such a simple proven like concept to to make it spin um from other teams like open alliance teams and other teams that have kind of showed what they're doing that you know without the bag too it's just not something that people are spending a whole lot of time on yeah which is sad because it's the color wheel. It's like the most fun part of the game right now, but it's definitely not the the easiest one to make um, for your field at home. So other teams that were in this category, forty nine seventy six uh, Revolt Robotics. Tyler, what did you think of them? They're out of Ontario, Canada. Yeah, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I kind of didn't write down too much for this team. I'm really sorry. So uh, I, I, I was more. I'm so infatuated. I'm sorry. I'm really infatuated with the next team that's on here. I, I really want to talk about the video thing on it. So I apologize <laughs> to that team. I, I actually don't have much down there. I don't know if anybody else put something. No, I like how they. Go ahead. I was going to say teeny tiny, like. Yeah, it's, <laughs> extreme, so. yeah, it's extremely small, but it does. It does a great job. I love how they kind of index, not necessarily out of their robot like some teams they bring the ball in a little bit off the ground and then index it into their uh carousel and shooter so it's a nice little robot yeah it looks really clean too so yep. thanks for covering for me <laughs> and tyler so tyler why don't you talk about this uh next one well okay so it? this is this is something that uh i know uh we kind of had a little split on if we liked this format or did not like this format and i like it um you know it's a team that I don't think they were able to show off too much on what was going through a lot. They had a full thing there, but we didn't actually see a whole lot of robot stuff happen. But I love the creativity that they had with the with the drums there and the powder going up in the air and that sort of thing. I, I thought that made it cool. You know, you, you can take a team that doesn't, you know, there's plenty of reveal videos, you know, honestly, both on here and also elsewhere that might not really show that much. And this team wasn't able to show a ton of stuff with the robot, but at least they made it look uh, much more entertaining than what most other videos that I see are like that. So I got to give them a lot of credit uh, for doing that. I thought the, uh, the photography uh, on it uh, looked really nice um, as they went through. Yeah, I would agree. Right. And it's pretty cool that they're going to be competing at three regionals. That's, mm-hmm. that's a lot of regionals. Yeah. <laughs> So the uh, poll is complete, by the way, for Group 4. And our winner, uh, with 37% of the vote, much closer in this one, is going to be 1736 yeah. Robot Casserole. Uh, nice. Jesus, congratulations to Robot Casserole uh, on there as well. And we're also going to draw for our giveaway for the uh, ADIS 16470 IMU boards. We have two. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.